Having the ability to sell when running an SMMA is probably the most valuable skill you can have, right? We're running a service-based business, which is a people-based business. So you need to know how to influence, you need to know how to persuade, and you need to know how to sell. Like sales encompasses almost every aspect of running a SMMA or a service-based business. In client acquisition, every interaction from initial outreach to closing the deal, it all involves sales, right? Whether you're cold calling, whether you're doing cold email, whether you're doing meetings, the goal is literally just to persuade potential clients in choosing you as their service provider, in choosing you as their agency, in choosing to work with you, right? Like even when you're when you're doing cold outreach, you're selling the idea of a meeting, right? You're selling the idea of them giving you a time. Rather than selling them the service directly, you're selling the idea of them giving you their time, getting onto a call with you, right? When they're on the call, you're selling them your service. Even service delivery, like Delivering client results is a form of sales within itself because every campaign that you run, not only does it fulfill clients' needs, but it also reinforces their decision to work with you. So every step that you take, every stage of the journey that they're going on with you in the, in, in the sense of when you're delivering the service, it really reinforces their decision. Like, is it good? How long do I want to stay working with this person? Are the results good enough? So you're actually selling the idea of them continuing to work with you, right? This leads to repeat business, referrals, whatever you want, right? If you can't deliver a good service, you can't sell them on the fact of staying with you because the results aren't there, they're just gonna leave. So not only does sales apply to marketing, like your outreach, and then when people on the call, but also applies to service delivery as well. Not only that, but also client retention. Like you're selling not only the idea of getting them great results and getting them great results, you're selling them on the relationship, right? So you're always selling them the idea of staying with you. Like you've got the communication, you have to build relationships with them, you need regular check-ins, they want reports, things like that. You have to address any concerns, any, any things that they want addressed. It's all part of the sales process. It's all down to maintaining that they have good satisfaction and they're staying loyal to you. Sales really encompasses every single part of SMMA. Even once you have, once you have clients, it becomes around upselling them, cross-selling them, making sure they stay with you. Not only stay with you, but pay you more money. Right, because it's a lot easier to upsell current clients because they already have that degree of trust in you. If you're getting them great results, if the relationship is there, right, it bypasses all the trust that they would have to build again by picking someone else, right? Because if you have great relationships with them, if you're getting great results, then it bypasses a big factor in making a decision, right? Because they'd have to go through that whole process again if they wanted to work with someone else. So sales encompasses, like I said, every single part and is the most vital skill that you can learn for your SMMA because it applies to everything and it's going to apply to everything that you do in the future as well, right? Sales isn't direct uh, as in just getting on the calls with people and, and pitching them. That's not all sales is. Sales is ideas you have. Sales is communicating thoughts. Sales is communicating ideas. Sales is so much. And from the examples I, give, I gave you, you can see that it goes a lot beyond just pitching people on a call, right? Also, if you keep clients happy, not only can you upsell them, retain them, cross-sell them, whatever, get more money out of those current clients, but you can also make your clients the best salespeople, right? Because if your service is so good, right? If your clients are happy, they're getting good results, they like you, the relationships are there, they're gonna become your best salespeople. They're gonna market your product, right? They're gonna refer you to other businesses that you wanna work with in your niche. Right, so you're going to you're going to get a hell of a lot of new sales opportunity and business growth by having relationships that are really good, clients that love you and delivering great results. Right? Because those two things there are going to allow you to make your clients salespeople for yourself, right? So learn sales. If you want to learn if you want to know where I learn sales from and where to learn it properly, some of the biggest people that had an impact on me were Sam Ovens, sales principles, Cole Gordon, sales principles and Jordan Belfort sales principles. Like these guys are all really good when it comes to sales, specifically Jordan Belfort and Cole Gordon. Sam Ovens initially, I learned a lot of his stuff. It was pretty good at first. Yes, very good. Cole Gordon, especially for objection handling is very good. Jordan Belfort, if you ever have a chance just to listen to a podcast, things like that, read his book, really fucking good. Very, very good. I uh, just honestly, when scaling an SMMA, this was the main thing that took me from 10 to hitting like consistent 30 and we're on track to hit 40K a month for next month. Just learning sales, properly becoming obsessed with it, really drilling deep into 
just getting as immersed in it as possible, listening to podcasts, making sure all my inputs were mostly sales related, Get, getting up in the morning and going to the gym and I'd listen to a sales podcast. I'd listen to like a Jordan Belfort podcast or something like that, which would just get me in the mood to sell. All right, I'm planning on releasing quite a few more sales videos so you can actually see exact strategies on how I implement things that go beyond just when people are on the call, but also selling clients on the idea of staying with you, getting, selling clients on the idea of getting on the call with you, but really want to give you some insights into how I actually run calls as well as that. So point of this video is to say how vital sales is, not only for when prospects are on the meeting, but for also every other stage, right, in your SMMA. So learn sales, learn it from the best people, learn it from the people that have been there and done it. Cole Gordon, again, really good. Jordan Belfort, yes, you can say he's shady to some degree, which he absolutely is. Scammed a lot of people, but you can't underestimate his ability as a person who can influence and persuade people and sell very, very well. So that's everything for this video. If you have any ideas that you want to see, let me know in the description. And if you want more information about what we do, there's a link in the description. So I'll see you later. Appreciate it and uh, all the best.